You know, earlier today, I saw this article on the measles, the vaccine issue, and you know how deadly the measles are. And I was thinking, am I just not remembering correctly? The measles, they were no big deal. Now they've become something that is used to fear-monger parents into getting their kids vaccinated. Now they're even starting with adults, but okay. And I thought, I did, so much went through my mind, the Mandela effect, or are we living in different realities, or, or uh, what? what's going on today? And I even thought of just, you know, posting a video asking you guys, don't you remember the measles? It, it, it was no big deal, right? Okay. So, I then... Get this. All right. Hurricane Willa grows rapidly off Pacific coast of Mexico. And we have had a number of hurricanes growing off the coast of Mexico just this year. <clears throat> Since June, we've had 20 named storms. And it started June 5 with Hurricane Aletta. I posted on Hurricane Aletta. I, I showed all of the signatures of frequencies being used. And Hurricane Aletta got <laughs> so much mainstream media attention and that it was going to slam into Arizona as a hurricane. And it was going to no joke. Remnants. Remnants, Carol. Remnants. Not remnants. Remnants. Okay. The remnants of Aletta were going to be flooding on up to Idaho. This is not how hurricanes used to be. Now, hurricanes, when they hit land, they don't travel on through states as hurricanes. And we didn't see remnants flood out states one after the other inland. Now we're seeing that quite, oh, quite often. But we have this hurricane now. Again, another one off the coast of Mexico. And yes, I have been watching this. And it's been sitting there for days on end. And now, well, it has developed into a hurricane and it's going to be a big one. And guess where it's headed? To Texas. It's headed to Texas. So, it's, uh, it could reach Category 4 strength. Okay, between the hurricanes uh, hitting North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Panhandle, and these hurricanes off the coast of Mexico that sit there days on end, same place, and then suddenly they erupt into hurricanes. And we're told that these hurricanes are going to go across Mexico and hit Texas. Um, impact Texas late week. The rain of Hurricane Willa. Um, so, I don't remember hurricanes developing right off the coast of Mexico. I certainly don't remember them sitting there for days on end. And then suddenly they erupt with hurricane strength. And not only one, but now we have Vincente that 
they're saying is going to develop into a hurricane. But this is the genesis of the hurricane right here. This is Vincente. Um, do you, am I, am I just not um, aware of or knowledgeable of these hurricanes that develop right off the coast of Mexico? Is this like a, a normal thing? Or are they now bringing on hurricanes in odd places? Maybe to see if people are, I don't know, thinking like, okay, this, what is going on here? Uh, to see if anybody is going to question anything. Wow, so many unbelievably bizarre things are happening that never happened before. So it really does, you know, leave one in doubt, especially if you don't have anyone in your life that you can get any kind of um, intelligent, intelligent uh, feedback. All right. Well, you can see right here, I don't even have to play the loop. This is manufactured by man. Another one. Uh, let's go. It's not on radar. <laughs> These hurricanes just don't show up on radar. Wow. Okie dokie. That doesn't mean to say that Texas, you're not going to get a lot of rain. And that is really. Like you haven't had enough rain. You know, Saturday, these, October 20. I see these videos. Something global seems to have the atmosphere energized. Many new records being set. And 51,875 views in less than 24 hours. Wow, Mr. B B M B B three three three. Isn't 333 like a satanic number? Um, you sure know how to bring in your viewers, don't you? You must be doing something so unbelievably great on your channel. Yeah, something global seems to have happened with the, at the atmosphere is energized. Gee, what could that something be? Mr. M B B three three three. Could it be man using technology to manipulate that atmosphere? The jet stream. Oh, could it be the ionization of the atmosphere? Mr. M B B three three three. Six years, this guy since I've been on YouTube, singing the same tune while people suffer. Like this couple in Lano. And I do have to question whether or not they're doing something else to create this kind of flooding. Because this kind of flooding just from rain does not seem it's incredulous. Listen to this. First thing I've ever been through in my life. Water is no joke. A Lano couple survived an unimaginable horror when they woke up Tuesday to find floodwaters filling their house, unsure if they'd make it out alive. KXAN's Will Dupree sat down with the couple after that harrowing experience to talk about the support that's emerged. The last thing they, I heard was there's no way we're getting to the house. Those ominous words from a 911 dispatcher cannot escape the minds of Laura and William Valella. The couple clung to different pieces of furniture while their house filled with flood water early Tuesday morning. Their pictures show just how high the water got inside. It's just a feeling of helplessness, just plain helplessness. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. However, two Kingsland firefighters somehow made it to their house on a boat. 
The couple swam out their kitchen window to get to safety. All I remember him saying is that we're, we have been skimming over the top of trees to get here. The first place they came after their rescue Tuesday was the First Baptist Church in Llano. Church members are still working around the clock there to feed flood victims and first responders. We've got people in here for breakfast at 6 a.m. and then they start cooking supper about 3.30. You cook, you clean, you pull food out of your own pantry to make sure that people are fed because that's what Jesus commands of us and to do anything less is just not, not okay. I, I don't know anybody who isn't doing something for somebody else. There's never ever going to be a time in my life that I'm going to say goodbye to you. The Valellas may have lost their home in the flood, but through the kindness of strangers, they say they've gained a family. Will Dupree, KXAN News. Okay, so um, I just want to say that regardless of what beliefs people have, I respect the actions that they take. Okay. Um, okay, this flooding is uh, from rain. Where's the dams being released, causing an awful lot of the flooding? What is something else happening? Now, Gwen Towers. Oh, and let me pull up the, the document that I have on Gwen Towers so that you understand the difference between a Gwen Tower and a um, cell tower. Okay. Whoops. These are Gwen Towers. This is the Cutler, Maine extremely low frequency facility. These are Gwen Towers. They're not cell phone towers. Gwen, Ground Wave Emergency Network, which was decommissioned, I believe in the late 70s. So the Gwen system was our emergency system. It was decommissioned in the late 70s. And yet we see Gwen Towers going up all over the United States. And now they litter interstates. And a lot of the weather events seem to take place uh, around these interstates. The wires going down to the ground. You have one very, very high, much higher than the cell phone towers, one tower, and they can be loaded with instruments that look like the instruments on um, cell phone towers. But you have the wires coming down to the ground in a circular, it goes in a, a complete circle around the antenna. And when they emit from a Gwen tower, they can emit these extremely low frequencies up into the atmosphere or through the ground. And when they emit them through the ground, they can move water. They can create earthquakes. So if they can create earthquakes, they sure can crumple up asphalt, roads, and even take down bridges which is what we are seeing an awful lot lately with these torrential rains. Have you noticed in the videos on the flooding in Texas that the mainstream media videos in particular, but even those videos that are posted by others, it's not raining. It's never raining in their videos. I did find one, Texas rain. And so you are having some pretty big rains in Texas. You could have torrential downpours, but the kind of flooding that we are seeing. I'm sorry, it just, 
there's something very wrong that this home gets flooded right almost to the roof. Now, Harvey, Harvey was not all that incredulous when you know that the Army Corps of Engineers were releasing the reservoirs that flooded out. It wasn't Harvey that flooded out those homes. It was the Army Corps of Engineers. But the rain, or that hurricane Harvey, which was not a hurricane, um, that went on for four days. So when you put those facts into your brain, you know, you could, you could, it's not so incredulous that it brought about the kind of flooding that we saw, especially in that concentrated area, although there were many outlying um, areas that got flooded as well. But in a city like Houston that I've never been in, but I could imagine, well, you bring on rain for four days and you, you shut the sewer system. So that I know takes place because it happened in Baton Rouge about, was it a year before Harvey? That Baton Rouge got flooded and the areas surrounding Baton Rouge. I went to Baton Rouge. I learned from the people there that the sewer systems were not working. They were closing off the sewers to create the flood. So in areas that are outside of Houston, sorry, um, not terribly populated, Texas, you're pretty flat. Where the hell is this water coming from? Somebody left a comment below. The people who live in these areas around Lake Travis that were hard. Below my, uh, one of my videos said they were wondering if they weren't releasing waters from the underground aquifers. Well, what we do know is that they certainly can. They can do so much. They have got technology that we don't know about. And, you know, today they can do so much because hardly anybody questions anything. Anything. You know, when you see, when you see these hurricanes developing, yeah, well, Aletta, and then there was another hurricane, and I can't remember the name of that one. Um, it was literally, they were one week apart. Now we've got this one, Willa. And there, it's 130 mile per hour gust gusts at 110 miles per hour. And nowhere does it register that kind of wind. You would think at 110 miles per hour at, I guess, the eye. Uh, I'm on radar, that's why. Um, then, and you can see the microwaves right on the edge. You look at the periphery of the storms, you can see the frequencies because they will control the storms at the periphery. But the wind speeds, five miles per hour, right here in El, tu El Tutu, Galisco. I am very bad with pronunciating names. Five miles per hour. Well, you would think that they would be having stronger winds since this is the outer band of the storm. Seven miles per hour. Where I'm clicking is where it's registering. Seven miles per hour. Uh, I'm not sure if IntelliCast will give me a reading. Off the coast. 
Oh, maybe in the islands. Yeah, seven miles per hour. Seven miles per hour. Three miles per hour. We're being lied to outrageously. And so many people are still leaving comments saying, well, once this happens or that happens, people will wake, wake up. No, no, because you know what? Years ago, we were saying the same thing. And they're still not waking up and getting that something is very wrong with this picture. So I don't, I don't even know, you know, I... Look at this. This is so manufactured. And I can't in every video, you know, put in for those who are, you know, waking up now to, okay, weather modification, I think maybe that's going on. And, you know, it's hard to um, have to document in every single video, you know, all of your proof that man has the technology. But do understand Mother Nature does not work in straight lined patterns. She is circular. That's her nature, circular. And so when you see these very straight lined cloud patterns or the searing off at the ends, then you'll know that frequencies are at work. But you can see the puffing up of cloud substance that they are artificially manufacturing throughout this whole thing. Eyes are not quite eyes that we used to see before. Uh, splitting of the eye right here. Um, I will pause you for one sec. I've brought up a couple of channels that I will share with you and I will link to below for those who want to learn about weather modification and learn the signatures that you can see on radar and satellite sites. What I had to do years ago was study what an awful lot of other people were researching and then communicating back for us. So Weather War 101, if you want to learn how they are creating many of these storms, artificially generating cloud substance to bring about rain, um, I suggest that you watch these videos that Weather War 101 has posted and Dutch Sense and I suggest that you uh, filter his videos starting from the oldest because now he's really just posting on volcanoes but he has Actually, a lot of these look like volcano videos as well. So I will link below to Dutch Sense's website where he does have an awful lot of very good information on those Nexrad harp rings, the scalar squares, and how with the Doppler radar, they can create an awful lot of weather events. 
I suggest that you do a search in the search bar on his website. Um, and proof harp and radars can manipulate the atmosphere. Oh, that atmospheric energy, Mr. MBB333. Want to know about harp? Very low frequencies, very high frequencies, radar and weather modification. And it takes some studying to learn how they do this and to then go to the sites. And you can then, if you do it a couple of times, you'll be able to spot all of the signatures in on the satellites, on radar. And when you don't see any hurricane come up, on radar, then you really need to question. Hmm. Well, I heard In Truth by Grace say this. I don't know. I haven't looked into it, but um, I trust In Truth by Grace. She said they can't Photoshop radar, but they can Photoshop satellites. All right. Uh, the next is in Truth by Grace. And if you watch her videos, you will see that she tracks what NOAA tracks the buoys. That's where they get the wind speed from buoys. And In Truth by Grace has tracked many of these hurricanes and the wind speed is not what mainstream media is telling you. In, I mean, uh, one Pacific Redwood, you want to learn about low and high pressure uh, systems and how with radar frequencies, they can manipulate the pressure systems. Then watch one Pacific Redwood, Mike Morales, is on it and he goes through an awful lot and gives an awful lot of information uh, on weather warfare. So if I've left out channels, I didn't do it uh, intentionally, um, but these are the main channels that I go to. So for those who are asking questions about whether or not what we are seeing is related to Planet X and the high tides that are created from Planet X or the Sun and solar energy. All I can tell you is that I don't believe it is related. I do believe that they are bringing this about through the technology that they have and have been applying, especially when you see the very clear signatures of that technology. The um, microwaves are also very clear. In this precipitation down here that has been sitting off the coast, now, don't know if you caught the microwaves. They're, they're right in this artificial cloud substance. Right here. And you can see all of the ripples. And I also showed last night <clears throat> that they were holding back this uh, precipitation off the coast. You can also see very clearly right here, this is not how Mother Nature works, okay? Um, but this, there was a band of precipitation right here that seems to have disappeared. Wow, you don't have much rain at all in Texas right now, huh? Interesting. Well, you're getting more. You will be getting more. Um, 
precipitation generated for a second via frequencies or lasers right here. When I see all of these frequencies that you cannot deny anymore, you just, there's, they're all over the place. No, I do not think it is planet X. Wow, okay, the jet stream seems to have turned. Now the jet stream is going uh, west when it was going east last night. Well, atmosphere energized, jet stream all over the place. Man is doing this with the technology that man has. All right, stay safe, everybody.